What's going on here? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning into the video. Today we're going to be returning back to the Does It Rally series here. We got the Flash GT, and this is probably one of the best rally cars in the game. I don't think there's really any question about it. Most people know. One of the quickest, one of the speediest, one of the best handling. And guess what? It's time to get it in the series. We got to test this bad boy. Of course, you can tell we already have some money put into this thing. It is fully upgraded. We only really have to change a couple things. I'm not going to change much. We will take a look at some of the options here. But uh, yeah, all in all... Not going to do much. Armor, I'm leaving alone. Brakes, I am going to actually throw in the brakes. It is a rally build. Oh, I lied. We do not have everything unlocked for this. Looks like we just painted it. Let's do that one. Something basic. Nothing there. Front bumpers. What do we got for bumpers? Just split. Yeah, I don't really like that. I'd say that's the best hood there. Get a little race hood going. Lights, I'll leave alone. Livery, what do we got for liveries? It's a pretty detailed livery, huh? Honestly, we're on Xbox One and I have limited money over here. Most of my money is on PS4, so we're gonna we're gonna just skip the old livery for now. Leaving that alone, plate, no. Respray I'm gonna leave alone too. I think this looks good. I really like this build the most. Um yeah, we'll do that. Kinda adds to the build a little bit. Sun strips. Nah. Side skirts. We didn't do a front bumper, so skirts are gonna be a little low. Spoiler. Okay, we did buy the spoiler. What's the options here though? Yeah, all right. Well, we took the best option. We're going to go all the way up. Oh, we're going to go with the stock suspension since this is a rally build. And we do have to go with the off-road wheels since we're trying to keep that our, our basis point. Transmission turbo, we unlocked those. Wheel type, as I said. Let's go into off-road. I mean, they just don't look good on here. I, I get it. They don't look good, but we got to do it. Wow, those are too expensive. I want to go with some cheap off-roads. We're just going to replace them back anyways. Let's go with the Raiders. We'll go with Carbon Black as well. White is accenting those crappy rims way too much. We'll go with Dark Smoke on the tint. Actually, we'll go with Light Smoke on the tint. Really shouldn't go with any tint since it's a rally car, but whatever. That's the whole build, huh? That's the whole build. So I'm going to do a little combination here with these tracks. We've already seen enough of round one. I think I'm going to bring this into round two and into round three and see how it performs. Let's get right into it. Before we get too far into the video here today, I want to raise some awareness that we officially started a Black Sheep TV Instagram channel. So if you guys do enjoy the content over here and you want to see a little bit more updates day to day, or at least numerous updates a week, definitely go follow the channel over there. If you think that you were already following a Black Sheep TV channel on Instagram, we had a channel before, but it was split between my Dipstick TV channel and the Black Sheep TV channel. And although they're both, you know, motorsports oriented and whatnot, one's real world and one is gaming. So they need to be split up. They need to be separated. Both of the channels are very, very small over there since we just started them. So, hey, if you enjoy the content, please go follow those channels. With that said, let's get right into today's video. This is round two of three. Uh, this is released on Xbox One, however, not on PlayStation 4. We are in the process of replicating this on PlayStation 4 as we speak, so it should see its release within the next couple weeks. Well, I guess, let me say this, next month is supposed to be Drift Month for us. We want all Drift content, no content other than Drift content releasing in the month of April on the Black Sheep TV channel. I need to do that. There's plenty of content I got to catch up on, and there's plenty of content that you guys deserve. I mean, we just kind of staled out on the drifting content for a while there, and like I said, it's time to get back to it. So we're going to get back to it. We are not just going to be testing this car on this track here today, though. We are going to bring it to round three as well, and round three is done. We are on Xbox One. We will be seeing the release of round three on Xbox One after PlayStation 4 sees its uh, release of round two. So kind of a process there on how things are releasing. However, things are releasing, things are coming, and I think that we've proven that we've been pretty consistent on both the channels here over the last few months. Man, I can't believe how high we're jumping on that. I almost was able to hit the back end right off that sign. This car is, let's get right to it. I've driven it around before. It was already customized as you've seen. I'm a little surprised that there was no performance upgrades on this thing because it felt like there were, I'll tell you that much. It's a nice, quick, planted, very, 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 very responsive vehicle. When it comes down to it, almost a perfect rally vehicle. However, there is one issue with it. It has the handling flag. Uh, it has that, basically, not that we're speed boosting in rally, although you do at some point in time. Every once in a while, the car will go into that speed boost naturally, just on the way that you're accelerating out of a corner. And this vehicle does not have that speed boost. It has, like I said earlier, that handling flag where it just goes, -na 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 -na. and it's a very, very expensive sound effect. So that's all I'm going to be able to use in this video. But it revs out. It goes top. It just sits there, redlining. 
you ain't going nowhere. It's like you throw her in neutral for a couple seconds. So either you got to let off the, the uh, throttle, the right trigger, and then get back on it, which it'll then catch gears and start going again. Or you just have to let it do its thing and sit around and wait for it, and that's going to lose you some valuable seconds out there on the rally track. This car is handling the off-road very, very well. The acceleration, I don't think there's any um, speed loss on the off-road. It doesn't even hardly feel like there's any handling loss on the off-road, let alone speed loss. It's very, very good. All around, just a great car, especially for the rally style that we do. Very, very planted, even with the stock suspension. She's very planted. Everything just feels great. Aside from that dang high revving, sitting on red line, that's some nonsense. We don't like that. All in all, I'm really not finding any complaints that I can put on this car, and I knew that was going to be, I knew it was going to be the case. I mean, this is one of the best rally cars in this game, definitely top three. There's some contenders up there at the top, and they all kind of, they throw some heavy fists, but this car is just something else for the rallying. Again, specifically the type of rallying that we do, it's just, it's almost flawless, aside from that damn speed boost thing. So that'll do it for this track. Let's bring it to round three, San Andreas Special. Round three of three, and probably my favorite track. Actually, not probably. This is my favorite track of the three by far. It's so tough. The jumps, the bumps, the stumps, everything comes into play. It just doesn't seem to matter how good of a vehicle that you have. This comes into driver skill as well. Let's go for the jump right away, see what handles that. Oof, it's going to be springy. Right into the wall we go to start her off. That's another reason why, oh man, I really like this track though. You got the option back there. And uh, although the jump is meant to trim a second off, it's also a gamble. It may add a few seconds to your time. You mess up and you can really, you can really get messed up there. There's a stump there, stump there. The boulder. Got numerous jumps, numerous little jumps. This one can, send, oh, not, not supposed to be an example of getting sent off the side. Wow, come on now. This is definitely the technical spot here. How can we make it through it? Whoa, whoa, into the cone. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I've driven this car around prior to this, and now after driving it in the last track, I'm getting a good feeling for what it does well and what it doesn't do well, which it does pretty much everything well. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some B-roll. I'm going to just record myself focusing, getting some fun laps in here, so maybe some hot laps. We'll see how I do. And uh, while I'm doing that, you'll hear me talking about which grade I'm going to give it as well. So why don't we get right into that right now? First thing I have to say is this track is going to definitely switch up those point numbers in the end. This thing is, it don't matter how good your car is, this is a tough track, plain and simple. With that said, if you guys are new to the series or just haven't watched this in a while, we judge these things on three separate aspects. First off is going to be the handling line. How does it steer? How does it handle? Is it tippy? All that good stuff. Next in line is the speed, not straight line speed against supercars, but speed as a rally car. Basically, how fast can you go and still have control over the vehicle on a rally track? Third and finally is going to be your cost. How much are you're paying for those prior performance grades. First off, handling. I'm gonna make it quick, I'm gonna make it easy. This thing doesn't deserve any negatives on the handling line. It is planted. I, haven't, I don't think I tipped it once other than when I sent it off the damn cliff. The steering line on top of that is very touchy and it's in a good way where, yeah, you really gotta figure it out. If you're going slow and you're going, you may unintentionally send yourself into that boulder even though you see it coming up for a half a mile. That's just kinda how it is with this thing. Off-road speed loss and traction loss also come into play with this, absolutely phenomenal, again, no point in wasting any time with the handling. 10 out of 10. That brings us into speed, and speed does have one thing I need to bicker about. That is that handling flag, that basically where it sits on red line, and it, it's noticeable. Once you really start sending it around the track, I noticed it more in the last track, actually, but once you start really ripping the laps and you're going for hot times, you feel like the car's slowing you down in some corners. You have to let off that. one else that doesn't have to let off the throttle, guess what, they're gonna be speeding past you there. Thankfully, this car does have good acceleration and good speed, top speed, so it really is a great car, and with that great handling, it allows you to really utilize that speed. So I'm only gonna hit it the one point for that uh, handling flag. That's bringing us to nine out of 10 for handling. Cost itself is a pretty touchy subject with this car. $1.675 million with no trade-in option available. And you really can compare this car directly to the GB200. It's pretty similar in the handling. I mean, this car is a little less uh, efficient, I would say, as the Flash GT, but this thing is, uh, you know, it's, it's no slouch either. This is 
is a great car to have. Do you want to pay $700,000 more for this? Now, here's the answer to your question. If you're a big rally enthusiast or you actually compete in rally and you're using the sports class and this is an available car, this is probably the car you're going to want to have, depending on what type of rallying you're doing. That's another big touchy thing. What kind of rally racing are you doing? You know, what kind are you doing? Are you doing the actual GTA rally racing? Or are you doing the rally cross style that we have been doing? And in that style, specifically round three of three, this car did actually struggle. It just goes to show you how OP that trophy truck really was when you look at it on that round three. Needless to say, not what this video is about. 1675, this thing's expensive. Now, as I said earlier, if you really are into rallying, you're probably going to want this vehicle. So that has to be kept in account too. So this car by no means deserves below an eight per se. Um, but does it deserve any more than an eight? If it was 1.2 million, maybe even 1.3 million, you'd have a little bit more debate there, but we're at nearly 1.7 million. I mean, once customized a $2 million car, you can get the Sultan RS, which is gonna be another car that's gonna compete directly next to it, although that's a supercar. That's the problem with that. They messed up with that. I'm gonna go with an eight, a solid eight on this thing. That's gonna bring us to 27, 27 out of 30. I actually thought this thing was gonna score higher. If you guys do enjoy this series, make sure to comment below which vehicles you wanna see me test next. Make sure I have not already tested them by watching the rest of the videos in the series, of course. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications as well to help us out and go check out the Instagram channels. Blacksheep.tv is where you can find me. Appreciate every single one of you tuning in, liking, commenting, and subscribing, and sharing the videos if you're sharing the videos. As always, hope you all stay happy, please stay positive, and we will definitely speak to you next time.